Hello everyone, it's Marilyn Rivera here with a new video tutorial for Fortnite and Market. I will show you how I create this beautiful cover uh, album using uh, the new Foundation series album by Fortnite and Market. It is an structured book with five inner pages that you you have uh, freedom to create any style that you want in this album. Plus, I'm going to use the new Vintage Artistry Short Collection. I'm showing you here the pages. Look how beautiful is this paper. It is, uh, look, you, the good things about uh, this paper, you look the envelope here, is that you can use all the borders of the paper. Look the, the seahorse and look this other oh it is beautiful this collection has as always two uh laser cuts looks all the shells and look this other with this beautiful frame oh it is a beautiful collection and uh, let's get started i'm going to remove the elastic that the uh, structure book comes with and the first thing that i take is the measure the height of this album is 10 and a quarter and I just cut uh, by half the 12 by 12, so it is uh, 6 inches by 10 and a quarter. And I'm adding uh, tacky glue, and with the spatula, I uh, cover all the paper. And I'm going to uh, adhere this to the cover of the album. I'm using now the bone folder. And for the back, I'm going to use a removable uh, adhesive because I want to mark in the paper, in the back of the paper with a pencil where I need to make the punch to uh, the two tiny holes that has the metal ring on the album. Now I'm go once I, this has the two perforations, I'm going to adhere this to the back cover. As you see, I check that everything uh, is in the right position. And with the bone fold, I'm going to uh, secure the rings around the paper, as you see. And this is it. It's ready now. Now to cover the spine, I take the measure. And I'm going to cut this paper by 3 inches by 10 and a quarter. Then I repeat the same. I add the tacky glue and with the spatula, I uh, spread the glue evenly over the paper and then adhere it to the spine of the structure book. Okay, this part here takes time because it needs to be very attached to the spine. So I am taking my time, making very well the folders and I'm going to add more adhesive, especially here in these borders because uh, this structure will open and close many times. Now I'm using the la lacy trim. Look how beautiful. I just love this uh, lace. And I'm going to adhere it to the uh, spine. I'm using uh, 3D gloss gel, but you also can use any adhesive for fabric. I don't have any one here right now, so I'm using the medium, the 3D gloss gel, that it is a strong adhesive. And I'm going to place the lace double here in the spine. As you see, I just love how it looks with these papers. It's go perfect with a vintage look that this collection has. And as you see, I am going to add more adhesive or more 3D gloss gel in the borders just to secure. Now I'm trimming off the excess of the lace and with the bone folder, I make a little of pressure just to secure uh, that the uh, gel stick very well to the trimming. As you see, I add a little in all the borders here, more adhesive. It is almost done, as you see. Now I'm going to start to uh, embellish the cover, but first I need to get textures uh, to the cover album, and I'm using this stencil by Prima with modeling paste, and I'm adding these uh, textures around the area that I'm going to place the flowers and the cheesecloth. I don't want to cover the paper, just to add a little of these textures here and there. And I remove a little of them and it is ready. Once it's dry, and I'm now uh, 
starting to adhere all the pieces first the cheesecloth and now I'm adding this I don't know how to call this it is like a breath or a cord that comes in the flower package and you can check here some of the flowers that I'm using they are so beautiful and I love to combine both colors here for this album and I'm using some of the leaves and some of the spins that comes in this metal that comes in the packet flowers oh and look the seahorse it is so cute I just adore the seahorse and I add as a piece of 3d gloss um 3d gloss no sorry <laughs> the 3d foam tape behind the seahorse just to add a little dimension I'm adding here a piece of crochet I just want to add different layers of different elements in this uh, album cover here in, and now these beautiful white flowers from 49 and I continue here playing with all the embellishment to give like a flow to, to this fabric here like the wind is uh, blows and all the fabrics go in the same direction so I'm trying to create something like that here are the chipboards, the birds and um, I add here more uh, a little a touch of white with the crochet here behind the seahorse some of the tiny flowers from 49 and market and I think that after I add here I'm going to adhere everything now you can see here everything unheated look how pretty everything looks I add the cheesecloth, I add the summer vibes as my title, everything is, at, is dry, you can see how it looks the spine and the different elements, the flowers, the laser cut, look the shells here, it's so pretty, just love it. And here are the birds that I'm going to adhere at the end. But now I'm going to add some wishing bubbles. I'm, I wasn't sure if I'm going to use the gray ones of the fish, but at the end I, I went with the grays. And I'm going to add some of these pieces behind the leaves to create more textures on the background. Look how pretty the wishing bubbles are. And now I'm, I want to add more textures. So I'm going to mix first a mini Arston here with 3D gloss gel. I'm going to combine both and mix well to create this a paste with all these textures. Uh, I was thinking at this moment to add all the texture here on the background to create like a sand effect on the cover of the album. That's the reason that I mix the mini art stone with the 3D gloss gel. Once I adhere the mini art stone, I'm adding the regular art stone over the fabric and over the mini art stone just to create layers of textures. Once this is adhered, I am now adding some pearls. You know how much I love pearls. And I think it gives this lovely effect to all this vintage look of this album and he is everything dry and i let me tell you that i forgot to add a uh, gesso so i'm adding the gesso now i'm just adding white gesso just to blend and to soft a little the background here's when i add some drops of uh ivory acrylic paint and I'm going to paint all the mini art stones on the background just to add the effect of sand on the project and I'm adding the acrylic paint with a paintbrush on the background and I continue adding this in around all the area that has the mini art stones and I'm going to let it dry now is that I use the Opal Magic in blue gold color. Look how lovely is this. And I was thinking to add the blue, uh, oh, a little touch of blue on, on the background here. And I'm painting the, especially the regular art stone and adding a little of this color on the background paper. Just a little around all this embellishment here. But you will see that at the end because this uh, uh, paint 
took a lot of light it looks more gold so here's when I decided to stamp a little and I'm using this stamp with archival and adding a little of depth and a little of I think shadows or in the area that it looks too gold for me once I stamping is that I am adding giving white paint splatters over all these textures I just love how this effect smooth all on the background and you can see how it looks different now once you add the white paint splatter now I'm uh, adhering the birds here on the background here of the cover and it gives a lovely touch and you can see here how it looks so pretty well my friend i hope that you enjoyed the video tutorial check that i attach some ribbon to the spine and uh, let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up and i'm going to show you the first inner space i hope that you like it and i see you soon with other video tutorial nos vemos bye bye